Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson with Flats Class YouTube. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about inline hooks with you, in particular on topwater plugs. Now in the past, we've done plenty of videos on inlines on suspending baits, okay? But we never really talk about them with topwater, and I've gotten a ton of questions and reaction from all of you guys out there about why don't we see you use them on topwaters? Because many of my topwaters still have trebles on them that I mash the barbs down. Well, I decided to address that issue. And the way I addressed it is I wanted to fish with clients with it because me catching the fish is one thing. Them catching the fish and consistently staying connected is another because I'm doing this stuff, guys, every day. They're doing it on the weekends or maybe even as little as once a month. So I had a client come into town. He's a regular client and a damn good fisherman. And his name is Joe Nelms from Jacksonville. And you've seen Joe Nelms uh, earlier this year on Flats Class YouTube where we fished with him up there in Wakasasa Bay uh, you know, fishing Ned Rigs. But I wanted to, we had the perfect opportunity. We wanted to go tarpon fishing, but... Uh, we had west wind, and we had a rainstorm out there, and we decided, hey, let's let's just stay in the backcountry today and do a little bit of snook fishing. So we went back there, and he, he actually slammed throwing a mirror mullet XL with inline hooks. Now, you say, do you, do you catch every one? No, you don't catch every one, but here's, here's the beauty of this plug. The beauty is you can throw it right to the edge of the Spartina grass, right to the the prop roots in the red mangroves. You can work the surface even when it has floating grass and debris and you still catch fish. So let me set a few things up while you watch this video. Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Got a rainbow right here, and we got some rain coming. It's good topwater time now. Hope there's some. Oh, just missed one right here. Dog on it. <laughs> Turn around, looking at rainbows. You're out here catching fish. Come on, light it up. Talk about a hit. You talk about a hit, man. <laughs> it sounded like someone smacked it. <laughs> I mean, smacked it. Might be. Backcountry snook fishing. Backcountry snook fishing. The single inline hooks make it so nice. Really do make it nice. On the top water. Yep, on the top water. Get a hit like that. Good looking fish, man. Really good looking fish. All right, buddy. Go swim. <laughs> All right. 
Well, let's get one more quick red. A boat. That is a respectable trout. A summertime respectable trout. Man. Okay, gotta log them. Yeah, you gotta log that gotta one log for the star tournament. I mean, he got that even with single hooks. Yeah, I went right I mean, through. I was lifting. Yes, Joe is a solid fisherman. You can tell the way he works the plug with the rhythm, the cadence is consistent nothing changes and he's patient when the fish come up behind the plug or blow up on the plug he doesn't skip it out of the way he continues to work that plug and that is very important when you're using single hook uh, inlines instead of trebles you can't get away with that impatience that that feeling that you've got to set the hook. You've got to let them load the rod. If you let them load the rod, you're gonna be fine. The reason I'm telling you this is it's summertime. And in the summer, we deal with higher water levels. Okay, so all the tide heights are gonna be higher. And it puts the fish extremely close to the shorelines. When we're fishing in the cooler months or the more temperate months, many times the fish are wide open. They're out in the open, easy to get to. Uh, you don't have to be that accurate a caster. This time of year, you have to be, well, damn good. That's right, I said it, damn good. You have to get the plug so it lands right where the roots are, right where the grass is. It has to be tight, you have to work it tight. And one of the tricks, is utilizing those inline hooks because even when you hook up into those roots or 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 a tree limb or or in the grass lots of times if you're gentle you can shake it right out and it'll just fall right there and then you can start walking it again so this is a really good tactic to use now in many cases and i tied one up you've you've seen the trick i use with a lot of the suspending baits because the the problem or the the question we get all the time is my front hook always reaches around and grabs that line like that well i've taught you how to squeeze that front hook down and shorten the gap in this case using a a, a clench knot with these suspending baits because i mean you're working these things really erratically and and they do foul at times it's a little different with top water. With top water, that doesn't happen nearly as much, okay? Bigger plugs. I'm using a loop knot on this to give this plenty of action, okay? But I'm using a 40 pound leader. That's right, 40. And there are many times, because this is more of an alpha style bait. I mean, it. the fish that's going to whack this is pretty pissed off. He wants to eat it. He's not, he doesn't care if it's 40 or even 50. And at times I'll use 60. That's right, 60. If I know we're fishing for big snook around fenders, docks, seawalls. But typically backcountry fishing, I use 40 pound fluorocarbon. That's what I use. So use that 40. The stiffness of the fluorocarbon itself will keep that front hook from wanting to foul. Working it in a rhythm is important now i'm not going to kid you you will lose a fish or two it happens like this it's your redfish too i knew we needed to put go back to top water it's a red it's a red it's a red it's i mean it's just one of those you got it he threw it back at you yeah <laughs> It happens, it's not foolproof. There's times when when they will get off and they'll even get off on treble hooks too. If you're a topwater avid angler, you know that. Let's recap. All right, the reason you're throwing those single inline hooks, you can work through surface debris like grass and that's what we have in the summer, a lot of grass floating on the surface. There's more boats out there. There's there's sheds from the grass naturally because the tide heights are deeper. We have bigger tide movement and the grass can be a problem. It's, it, it gets through the grass much easier than like a treble hook plug that's going to be fouled all the time. In fact, I know many of my clients that don't even throw hard baits this time of year because they're too frustrated. These inlines will take that away. All right. 
The other thing I did not mention is the fact that you can pull a heck of a lot harder on a fish. If you're catching them that close to cover, now you can pull much harder. You can nut that drag down and you can really fight a fish with a lot of confidence that he's not going to be able to open one of those little treble hooks up. Another great reason to use the inline on your topwaters this time of year. Fishing around docks, sea walls, fishing next to mangrove islands, in spartina grass where there's oyster all around. This is going to give you an added advantage. The reason I love top water in the summertime is it calls fish. We're looking, these fish can spread out. And now with top water, it really calls fish in. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great alpha bait to use this time of year. So don't sleep on it. You want to use this bait. I promise you. All right, if you like what you're learning here at Flats Class YouTube and, and you like all the adventure stuff we do, the lifestyle stuff we do, the fishing tips and product reviews that we've been known for for 15 years, we are the inshore authority on that stuff. I want you guys to subscribe, share it with all your fishing buddies and hit the, hit the like button and that notification bell so that when these videos pop up, we're, we're making them readily available. You're going to be able to see them and you're going to go to the water and use them. And they're relevant for the time of year that we're doing it. I try to keep all this stuff in real time so that you watch this video and then you go to the water this weekend and catch fish. That's the whole idea. All right. Appreciate you. See you on the next Flats Glass YouTube.